Hello, how are you? Hello, how are you? Hello, how are you? How are you this Wednesday? I am fine and I hope you are too. I am fine and I hope you are too. I am fine and I hope you are too. I hope you are too this Wednesday. Turn to your neighbor and give them a pound. Turn to your neighbor and give them a pound. Turn to your neighbor and give them a pound. Give them a pound this Wednesday. Okay, guys, great day, great day. Today is Wednesday, May the 6th, 2020. Welcome back to our distant learning class. Okay, our question for today is, is this a living or non-living thing? Is this a living or non-living thing? Text me your answer and tell me why did you say that answer. Like if you said this is this is not a living thing, tell me why this is not a living thing. If you tell me this is a living thing, tell me why this is a living thing. Okay, text me your response or either drop it down in the comment section. I love you, Rachel, is 10, you have 10 little fingers. Okay, with this, you're going to sit with your child so that you are facing each other. Okay, so the part when I say you have 10 little fingers and they all belong to you, you're going to touch each of your child's 10 fingers. You're going to touch them. When I say they are so very wonderful, look what they can do. You can continue to touch your child's fingers. You're going to look at the child with a sense of pride. And when, you, when I say look what they can do, you're going to clap your child's hands together. The part when I say we can shut them tight, you're going to take the child by the hand and put them together like this and you're going to make a fist. We can open them up wide. You're going to open up the child's hand and you're going to extend the fingers out wide. We can put them all together and we can look what's inside. You're going to tuck your child's hand together with yours and you're going to open up your hand slightly like this to take a peek. We can open them up and trace all the lines. You're going to open the child's hands and you're going to use your fingers and trace the lines of your child's palms. So you're going to trace the lines inside the palm. Like whatever the lines are, you're going to trace their lines. We can put them together matching yours and mine. You're going to hold your child's palm. You're going to hold both. You're going to um, touch hands. And you're going to put your hands inside your child's hands. And when I say we can put them together matching yours and mine. Okay? So we're going to try to do this all together on three. One, two, three, ready. You have ten little fingers, and they all belong to you. They are very wonderful, so look at what they can do. You can shut them up tight. You can open them up wide. You can put them all together. We can see what's inside. We can open them up and trace all the lines and we can match yours with mine okay that was the i love you ritual i read aloud is i will love you okay this is the front of the book this is the back of the book this is the spine the author writes the book and the illustrator draws the picture and our author is Alyssa capacilla and our illustrator is lisa aiken I will love you. In the very first moment when you came to be, I looked at you and you looked at me. The sunshine hello and the moon went too. And clouds bounce by, filled with dreams just for you. Then nuzzle in a blanket of stars from the sky, with the twinkling light singing a sweet lullaby.
I whispered these words as I held you near for all time, for all space, for the world to hear. I will love you. I will love you as sure as the breeze loves the flowers. And as long as smooth stones talk of hours and hours. As you're soothed by the hush of a butterfly's wings, or tickled by the rainbow, a silky rain brings. I would love you like the velvet green hill loves its trees, like warm misty shadows calling, nestle with me. With each dandelion wish that soars to the sky, with each seed that blossoms over low, over high, I will love you. When the sea asks you why, when you ask the sands when, where you wander and wander far and wide over again. And when the world shares its smiles and sometimes its blues, when the gift of just being wrapped snugly around you. Okay, guys, so by looking at this picture, where do you think they are? Perhaps they can be at the beach or somewhere by a lake or ocean that's what I think they are by looking at this picture I will love you Okay, and by judging by this picture by the moon, is this nighttime or daytime? What time of day is this? Is it nighttime or daytime? If you say nighttime, thumbs up. And if you should call out, I'll call back. Here I am. I will be with you always, wherever I am. When the lark wakes the butter yellow dawn in its flight, when the fireflies dance, good night, good night. When you reach for this whisper of words in your ear, for all time, for all space, for, for forever, everywhere. I 
will love you. The end. Okay, God, that was our read aloud for today. And now for our ready, Rosie. You're going to watch the video Funny Faces. And this game helps your child learn our faces, how faces are revealed using different emotions. Okay, so you're going to give a variety of sentences to demonstrate feelings, such as sadness, excitement, anger, or worry. And you can see if your child can match your emotion. Okay, so you might say, oh my goodness, I am so sad, it's raining, I can't go outside. Okay, you're going to look sad. Okay, and your child is going to tell you how your facial expression is. Or either they can do the face themselves to see can they match your emotion. So you're going to do like three sentences. You're going to do a happy sentence. You're going to do a sad sentence. Or you can do an excitement or worry. Either, either one of your choice. And do the facial expression and see can your child match that facial expression. Okay. For our extended learning, we're talking about tallying. And tallying is when you explain that it's a way to count and keep track of information. Okay, so we did this in class as well. And with this, you, you are going to discuss with your child that you would like to count by making tally marks on a paper. Like for instance, you might ask them, do you like chocolate, strawberry, or vanilla ice cream the best? So if, okay, you can probably do this with probably more people in your household you're going to write out on a chart paper or a big piece of paper. You're going to post it. You're going to have chocolate, a line. You're going to draw. You're going to write strawberry. You're going to write vanilla. Okay, you're going to count the number of people. You're going to ask the question, how many people like chocolate ice cream? Okay, so whoever likes chocolate ice cream is going to raise their hand, and you're going to count the number of hands. You're going to write that response on the paper. You're going to ask the same thing for, for strawberry are vanilla okay so with that you're gonna make the tally mark so if it's like say if it's five people in your home and four people like chocolate ice cream so you're gonna write out four tally marks okay so you're gonna show the child how you write the tally marks and then you're gonna ask keep asking the questions and you are going to compare the tally marks to see which one has less more or equal to that's a great way another um, great math activity okay so after that you're going to invite the children to, or child to add up the total for each category and you want to compare them so that's the way they learn about tallying and also about comparison okay guys this is it for our class for today and continue doing a great job continue jotting down the responses and are either texting me your response and watching the videos. Okay, guys, I wish you well, and I'll see you on tomorrow. Bye-bye. Have a good one.